Hello there. Welcome back. This is Vasudev, Product Planner for Power Solutions in the Tektronix Oscilloscope product line. Today we are going to briefly discuss about the new capabilities we have added to the automated power measurements, the two port impedance measurement capability using the oscilloscope. Customers need to perform their power distribution network impedance to ensure that the designs are optimally designed as per the requirement. Traditionally, customers have been using a standalone impedance analyzer or a vector network analyzer, but the power design teams need to perform these measurements very close to the DC, which can be very easily achieved using an oscilloscope based measurement of two port impedance. We leverage our MS45 or 6 series with built in AFG, or one can also use an external AFG 31000 series. You need to have the appropriate probes. In this case, we have used a TPR uh, power rail probe or one can also use the direct SME with DC blocks. We need the commercially available isolation and injection transformers. And here what you see is a brief uh, video of the setup of what we are using for our two port impedance network capability. We use the Pico test uh, uh, transformers here and uh, we have for this particular demo used a TPR4000, the Tektronix uh, power rail pro which goes up to 4 gigahertz. Probes are connected to the AFG stimulus and the reflected signal and we'll see that uh, we now take advantage of the built-in AFG of the MS4516 series. You need a 50 ohm power divider to ensure that uh, the signals are split between the reference channel, that is channel one, and the second output goes to the DUT. 50 ohm matching is very important for impedance measurement. Your entire setup should be 50 ohm matched. So use the good quality 50 ohm matched SMA cables. The software now gives the ability to select the frequency response analysis impedance measurement capability, which allows users to configure the requirement as to where the AFG signal is fed as a reference, the channel 2 which is a reflection from and you can also now select an external AFG uh, 31000 series. For the demo purpose we have used an internal AFG capability. You can set your start frequency say 10 kilohertz. You can set your amplitude either constant amplitude or also have profile. Here we have selected one volt and once we set power preset the software automatically has invoked the AFG option and now the software starts sweeping from start to stop frequency. The signal from the AFG output through the uh, power divider whether passive or active is fed into channel 1 for reference and the channel 2 is coming from the reflected signals out of the DUT. The output of the DUT is connected through the J2113 or J2102 Pico test transformers. As you see the software calculates the impedance now the oscilloscope has become an impedance analyzer with x axis as frequency and the y axis as impedance. You can also invoke the table results table and capture all these details into a HTML or PDF format. So with this capability we Tektronix has now ensured that the general purpose oscilloscope is converted into a powerhouse so to say with the ability not only perform the automated power measurements but also the two port impedance measurement. What you need is option AFG for the 5 and 6 series or you can use an external AFG. In summary a one box solution making the general purpose Tektronix MS4 5 and 6 series oscilloscope into a powerhouse for power related measurements. You can uh, also uh, find out more details from Tech's uh, website or contact me Vasudev or Gajendra Patro. Thank you very much.